Okay, for spinal cord lesions, there's three things that you need to know. There's three tracts. Two of them are ascending because they are sensory. One of them is descending because there is motor. The descending is lateral cortical spinal tract. The ascending ones are the dorsal column, which are basically for your discriminative crutch. And your ascending, other ascending one is lateral spinal thalamic tract, which is pain and temperature. Now, if I lesion one of the ascending tracts called the dorsal column, or if I lesion the lateral cortical spinal tract, which is for motor, I'm going to get functional deficits on the same side of the lesion, which is ipsilateral. However, if I lesion the lateral spinal thalamic tract, I'm going to get deficits not on the same side, but I'm going to get them on the opposite side, two levels below the actual lesion. Now, why is this? Well, to understand this, we have to understand there's something that exists called Lissauer's tract. What Lissauer's tract is, is that it allows fibers coming in into the level to ascend twice, two levels up, two to three levels, before it decussates to the other side and then goes all the way up to the thalamus, to the somatosensory cortex. So once we have this in mind, um, we can understand what happens if you have a lesion somewhere. So let's say at C4 on the left side, you have a spinal thalamic lesion over here. So what's going to happen? Well, we know that if something was to decussate at this level, it had to go up two or three levels, right? Let's say two for this case. And this level is where spinal thalamic information came from C6. So if I lesion this, anything below C6, C6 included, will not work. So because it's going to this side and this side doesn't work. So let's quickly try this again. If anything comes in from C7, it's going to go up one. It's going to go up two. It's going to decussate to this side. But, ah, uh, shit, it can't, it can't go over here because this side is lesion. All right. Uh, let's try it with C8 again. Coming from this side, going to go up one, go up two, decussate on this side. Then, again, it's blocked. It, it can't go any further. So you can see that from this side, everything contralateral, two levels down from the lesion is affected. Now, if we go from the same side, what happens here? So if I have information coming in from the left side, it's going to go up one, it's going to go up two, decussate to this side, and then easily go up to the thalamus on the right side because the right part is okay. The lesion is on the left, right? So you're not going to have any problems on the ipsilateral side but you will have whoops, you will have two levels down all of this will be gone contralaterally and that is how you reason out spinal thalamic tract uh, lesions